Have you seen it? Have you seen the new 100th anniversary finale collection? Well, it's out there, so let's go! Hi friends, Tina Lala here, and in case you didn't know, it's Disney's 100th anniversary and we're so excited to celebrate. The other day we were at Keystone Clothier at Hollywood Studios and there was new 100th anniversary merchandise. There was also new holiday merchandise too, but I'll show that in another video. First, let's check out the new Disney 100th collection. Now, I like the 100th merchandise that was currently out with the iridescent look and it was so celebration style. All the characters were dressed up with their iridescent tuxedos and even with the 100-year logo on their paws. And there was even some new merchandise that came out specifically for the 100-year celebration. But the new Disney 100 Platinum Celebration, which is the finale collection, is a lot of purples and blacks and fireworks full of festivity. So let's start with the review. I'll put prices down below at the bottom to help you make your list and your budget. Here's the Disney 100 Platinum Celebration Finale Spirit Jersey for adults with Disney 100 and 100 Years of Wonder and deep purple puffy lettering and an explosion of the Mickey Icon fireworks at the bottom. The puffy lettering is sparkly and magical. The entire jersey is really sparkly, but the combination of the colors really makes the Mickey Icon firework pop. Now, it is kind of right on your butt. However, it is still a cool design. Next is the Cinderella Castle Pullover. This is the Walt Disney World version, which has a black background with fireworks and shows a sketch version of Cinderella's castle looming large on the front. Now there's a Sleeping Beauty Castle Pullover. That's the Disneyland version on ShopDisney.com. Of course, both of these pullovers come in kids and adult sizes. Okay, for me, this pullover is just a little too busy, a little too Jackson Pollock, but I really appreciate the sketch castle that's on the front. And I really like the fact that they have a Disneyland and a Disney World version with each of their own castles um, shown on the front. Although I can appreciate the bright colors of the fireworks and the designs. Here's a Tina tip. Before purchasing anything in the park, Definitely check the prices on ShopDisney.com because we priced this adult pullover at $39.99 in the park, but it was only $36.99 on ShopDisney.com. So check out both before you make a purchase. Carry all your magical wishes inside this Mickey Mouse and Friends Loungefly mini backpack, which is purple with characters dressed for a special occasion. Inside the bag has this really neat Disney 100 logo fabric. I love the sparkling Disney 100 logo zip pull dangles on the front pocket and all the platinum trimmings all around the zippers. This pattern looks a lot like an old Vera Bradley pattern that Megan had once, but with the platinum touches, it really adds a wow factor. This backpack is on pre-order on ShopDisney.com, but they had plenty in store at the Keystone store. Here's the matching Mickey Mouse and Friends Lounge Fly Ear Headband for adults with a super cute silver platinum bow and faux leather ears. I think it's only when you look really close that you can see the shadow outline of the castle on the ears. That's a really great touch. Now I've seen the Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse Partners Dooney and Burke tote out on ShopDisney.com. But this Walt Disney and Mickey Mouse Partners Lounge Fly Mini Backpack was so adorable with its fireworks and the Platinum Partner outline. Did I mention that it lights up around the outside of the Partner statue? Who wouldn't want that? I love how the brightly colored fireworks really pop against the black leather. And when the Partner statue lights up, it's really a showstopper. Yeah, this bag is already sold out on ShopDisney.com, so if this is a bag you want, you better get down to the parks, friends. I also really appreciate the platinum detail on the back side that reads the Disney 100 with 100 Years of Wonder and the stars that are on the straps. Really great detail. We also saw some pretty cute Star Wars jerseys, which had an adorable Millennium Falcon logo on the front. And then one jersey said, I love you down the back. And then another jersey said, I know down the back, referencing an encounter between Princess Leia and Han Solo from The Empire Strikes Back. 
this perfect jersey for anybody who's there on their honeymoon. There were these charming Princess Leia ear headbands for adults with the famous Princess Leia buns inspired by the Star Wars A New Hope movie. They're made in corduroy fabric and topped with a faux leather bow and bejeweled with a silvery button, which, of course, Megan had to try on. Because you never know what they really look like until they're on somebody's head, right? There were a few Ashoka shirts we saw there as well. The first was this Ashoka logo shirt for adults, which was pretty detailed with the black and the um, outlining of the coordinates. There was this really cool Ashoka Tana short sleeve kind of tank top shirt with a chalk drawing on it. That was pretty cool. These were just a few of the things we saw at Hollywood Studios. Did you see something that you can't wait to get your hands on the next time you're in Hollywood Studios? Well, leave a comment down below and let us know. As always, we'll keep our eyes out for more Disney merch. Stay tuned to our next video, which will be all about the 2023 Disney holiday merchandise. Here's a sneak peek. Stay tuned for our next video for the rest of it. As always, life's a journey, and we'll see you next time at D&T's La La Land.